Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny. Welcome back to yet again another FNAF movie news video. I don't know what to tell you guys. We've just been getting so, so much brand new amazing info on the upcoming FNAF movie by Blumhouse. And in today's video, we're gonna be looking at some brand new behind the scenes, a bit of info on when we can expect not only tickets to go on sale, but also the first reviews of the film to go live, as well as an actual Freddy Fazbear's attraction opening in real life very soon. So if you're excited for all this FNAF movie news, scroll down, subscribe to the channel. It is easily the best way to stay up to date with not only FNAF movie news, but everything else going on in the FNAF scene. Our first bit of news here involves the composers for the upcoming film. You may remember not too long ago, Tyler Bates was the composer for the movie. Well, it seems like that news has changed and instead the Newton brothers will be composing the score. You may recognize them. They've worked on the score for other films like Dr. Sleep, you know, only the sequel to The Shining, Netflix's The Haunted of Hill House series as well as Marvel's upcoming X-Men 97 animated series. So they've gotten some major projects under their belt. I can't wait to see what they come up with for the FNAF movie. Next up, we got an official Giphy page going up for the movie, showing off some brand new looks at the characters. You got Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, as well as Mr. Cupcake all glancing around. Then we also have their variants where they are inside of the ball pit looking around. It's a pretty interesting look at these characters. And speaking of interesting looks at the characters, take a look at this video. That's right, Cinemark Theaters and hopefully other theaters around the world and here in the States will be putting up official standee displays of the movie. As you can see, this display is freaking massive. You got an entire backdrop of the entrance to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Place exactly as it looks like in the film. But that's not all because they have four different cardboard cutouts of the characters Foxy, Freddy, Bonnie, and Chica. Seems like they've been shrunk down a little bit, but they're still tall enough to like stand right up next to them and get your photo taken. This news was absolutely fantastic to find out. I love when films do this. Having these unique displays in theaters themselves, so if you're a big enough fan, you can get your picture taken, you know, with like props or scenes that play out in the film itself. And this display looks absolutely amazing. It fits so, so well with the FNAF movie. And like I said, hopefully a lot of theaters will be getting this display. Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Studios is still happening right now, where you can see the actual animatronics they used in the film. And it seems like now they actually have someone presenting these animatronics. And actually they revealed some pretty interesting Interesting news about them. Yes, they are real. These are the authentic screen use animatronics from Five Nights at Freddy's. It took 15 months to construct. They were made by Jim Henson's Creature Shop. That's right. 15 whole months to construct these animatronics. And honestly, the weight and the time and the effort, the heart and soul, everything put into these characters was absolutely worth it. They look amazing. I still can't get over how good they look. They look like they were ripped just straight out of the first game. Jim Henson's Creature Shop. Major, major round of applause to you guys. All right, well now let's move on to a brand new behind the scenes photo. Take a look at this. You may recognize this shot. This is Abby and Golden Freddy standing outside of the facade of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Place. It looks strikingly similar to this shot here that shows up towards the end of one of the trailers. You can see Abby's wearing the same kind of denim jacket and the red pants. The only difference is that the lights in this behind the scenes photo for the Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Place sign are not turned on. And the reason for that is most likely because this this isn't exactly that same shot because we can see on one of the cameras the camera is not at all pointed towards the back of the characters instead it's showing off their front view so very likely this is going to be a shot in the film itself where it's a front view of Abby and Golden Freddy standing outside of the pizzeria and it really makes you think for what reason are these characters not only outside of the pizzeria but why are they going back inside it's pretty much confirmed at this point that Abby and Golden Freddy have some form of connection so what the these characters are doing together I'm extremely interested. What are your thoughts and theories? All right, now I know the first film isn't even out yet, but we do in fact already have some of the cast and crew talking about the possibility of future films. I'm sure we're all aware at this point, but Matthew Lillard, who plays Steve Raglan, aka William Afton, has gone on record to say he has in fact signed a three-picture deal with Universal. So if three films do get produced, Matthew will be in those three movies. Well, now we also have director Emma Tammy talking about the possibility of 
of even more movies. She said in an interview with SFX Magazine, I think we would all feel so fortunate to be able to continue making movies in this universe and with these characters. It'll all depend on how things go with this first one, but should we be lucky enough to make more, I would absolutely want to be involved and would feel lucky to be included in those sequels again should they happen. There you go, straight from the director's mouth. If this first movie does well, there is interest to do more movies. Honestly, that is one of the major reasons why people are so hesitant on the movie being released not only in theaters, but also on Peacock at the same time, because that is probably drastically going to cut back on the amount of money they get at the box office, but hopefully, if FNAF fans unite, we can absolutely make this film pop off, because I'm sure all of us fans would love more entries on the big screen. And like we just looked at, even Emma herself said if there are future installments, she would love to return as the director. And again, with Matthew signing that three-picture deal with Universal, it seems that everyone working on the film would love to continue making FNAF on the silver screen. It really just depends on that box office. Well, Johnny Blocks, I hear you asking, dear viewer, who has surely hit the subscribe button by now, by the way. When, oh when, can I buy my tickets to support the FNAF movie at the box office? Well, luckily for you, you only have to wait literally one more day because we got regal cinemas officially announcing tickets will go on sale tomorrow if you're watching this video when it's uploaded october the 1st there have been reports of select theaters already having the tickets available on sale but october the 1st if your theater doesn't have them on sale yet that's when they're going to go live. All right, we know when the tickets are going to go live, but when can we see those critics' reviews? Because if you're not aware, the other day, critics actually did see a press screening for the entire film. The embargo doesn't lift until next month in October, which means they can't share their thoughts, they can't share their reviews until that time is lifted. We don't know exactly when in October they can release their thoughts and feelings on the film. It could be exactly when tickets go live if the reviews are well, because who knows, Maybe every single critic loved this movie and Blumhouse looks at all those positive reviews and they're like, all right, you, you guys can just share how good this movie is the second tickets go live so we get a big boost in ticket sales. Of course, that is the best case scenario. I'm not entirely sure how critics, you know, non-FNAF fans are going to respond to this film. It's going to be certainly very interesting, but there is a group of people out there who have already seen this film, and hopefully sometime pretty soon we can get their official reviews. Now, we've talked about a lot of big news in today's video, but what we're about to talk about right now might just be the biggest, because we got a TikTok user posting this video of a building on Sunset Boulevard in Los Angeles being decorated to be themed around the upcoming FNAF film. You can see right now the entrance is gated off because there are workers inside getting this all prepared for whatever it's going to be. But on the outside, we can get a taste of what this building is going to be about. We got the silhouettes of Bonnie, Freddy, Foxy, and Chica. Various sayings like, book your next party, let the celebration begin, get ready for Freddy's, and where fantasy and fun come to life. Now, being completely upfront with y'all, we do not know exactly what this building is for. It could be something simple as you're driving down Sunset Boulevard, Boulevard. You see, oh, what's that funky, colorful looking building? Oh, it's Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm gonna go buy a ticket to see that film now. Or best case scenario, like every FNAF fan is hoping for right now, it is some sort of pop-up attraction. Whether it be just a shop to buy merchandise themed around the film, maybe some walk-through haunted house type attraction where it looks like it's actually Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, but once you go inside, again, it's some sort of walk-through haunted house. There are some people who are thinking that this is going to be an actual Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, Personally, I think that's a bit of a stretch. I would absolutely love for something like that to happen, but also keep in mind, this is most likely gonna be a pretty small scaled back attraction if, again, it even is some sort of attraction. I personally don't see them making a full-blown pizzeria just for a little bit to promote the movie. And even Scott Cawthon himself in the past hasn't really sparked any interest in doing something along those lines. It could be something similar to what they've got going on at Halloween Horror Nights. You walk inside, you can see a whole bunch of props and animatronics used in the film. Whatever it is, all I know is that it is crazy, crazy surreal to see something like this being constructed before our very own eyes. I'd love to know your thoughts and theories on this building in the comments down below. Do you think it's going to be an attraction for the public? Do you think it's just a simple way of advertising the film? And that's going to do it for all the FNAF movie news. And I promise next video, regular FNAF news. We got to get back to that. But thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.